Good morning, friends. It's Gary Morris from DLC Group of Companies. For all of you tuning in uh, from the West, good morning from the East, uh, good afternoon. Super uh, excited about today uh, and our conversation with uh, Jeff Willis and Mr. Joe Pinero. Uh, a lot of you uh, know that uh, over the last month, Mr. Joe Pinero uh, join Newton Connectivity Systems, and we are uh, thrilled to have Joe part of our group. A lot of you don't know uh, Joe Panero. Uh, Joe has been a veteran of our industry. He's he's been in the Canadian mortgage space for um, you know more than twenty years. Twenty two of his last years he spent at Mortgage uh, Alliance um, in the uh, top leadership position, uh, and then after uh, that twenty two year stint. Um, he decided to make a change. He, he sort of looked and thought there was an opportunity. And we're going to speak to him about that today. Uh, and we were incredibly lucky uh, to be able to, um, you know, attract the likes and the caliber of someone like uh, Joe. With me on today's call, I have the uh, president of Newton Connecti ne sorry, Newton Connectivity Systems, uh, Mr. Uh, Jeff Willis. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. How are things in uh, in Ontario this morning, Joe? Everything's great. We get the weather's a little cooler. Uh, it's beautiful. Just a beautiful, beautiful. Uh, it's more like a spring day than a summer day, but it's really nice. Yeah. Well, listen. I know we have a lot of our friends on this call right now from uh, right across the country, and you know it's funny because we had a little bit of fun leading up to this. Where's Joe? I know over the last uh, month, it's probably been as hard on you as anyone, Joe. Uh, you know because your your the equipment, your thoroughbred kind of you know, waiting to, to get started in your new role. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, obviously we've had this COVID-19, you know, which has changed the way we communicate and, and do business. Um, you know, so that has, has really impacted sort of the, the start, but it's just different times. So mm -hmm. how are you making out overall? Uh, first off, welcome aboard to Newton. We're thrilled to have you. No, I appreciate it. And I, I really, you know, uh, you know, thank you and, and thank Jeff for, for giving me the opportunity. I'm really excited about uh, the new position, the new role, what, what this industry is going to shape like over the next little while. Uh, the COVID thing is like everybody else. It's, it's been hard staying at home. And as you can see, I'm in bad need of a haircut. So I got to get the <laughs> get this haircut thing out of the way. But uh, I don't think it's going to open anytime soon. Uh, I think from what I heard this morning, it's like for another another month or so. So I might have to get... Uh, I get Lucy to, to cut my hair, I think, and just and just break down. So I think that'll be my big decision over the next couple of days. Uh, but I'm, so I'm really excited to be here. I made all kinds of notes, which means I'm probably not going to use any of them, which is usually what happens when I write notes. But then that's that's great. Yeah. Well, I guess maybe the first question that uh, that we could start with is uh, after 22 years, you made a change. Yeah. Uh, and a monumental change. I mean, in my opinion, it's it's kind of like you know when Wayne Gretzky was trading from the Oilers to the the Kings. Mm -hmm. um, not sure that anyone saw it coming, but, um, you know, but we were certainly, uh, you know, fortunate to have you on our board. Maybe just tell us about your background, uh, yeah, those 22 sure. years uh, that you spent uh, at your previous, um, you know, group. Um, I know you were very fond of those 22 years and you had an incredible impact on the industry and the company. Um, maybe tell us about that a little bit and what you sort of look forward to going, you know, going uh, towards the next five years. Yeah, okay, no, absolutely. Yeah, and it was obviously it was 20, 22 years. I joke that I'm sure there's a Mortgage Alliance tattoo somewhere on me that I forgot that I put it on 10 or 12 years ago. Um, it's obviously was, it was a great time, a great orga organization, uh, wonderful, wonderful people, obviously over there, uh, you know, with the likes of uh, Mr. Mike Beckett and, and Chris and a few others. And I think it was just time in my career. I figure I'd have another third of my career left and really the opportunity to, to work in an organization uh, that I see now that is very uh, obviously broker focus. Uh, the technology is extremely uh, broker focus. You know, it's built by brokers, made for brokers, and it's exciting. And a lot of people think, you know, a sales guy and, and, and the technology, well, sales and te technology, as far as I'm concerned, goes, goes hand in hand. So to me, it's not, it's not a distance from probably my more primary roles, especially the first 20 years. Uh, so I'm excited about the, the sales uh, idea in, re in regards to the technology and getting the technology out there. And I think that was the thing that was most appealing. I'm excited about this industry. I think we're in a, a tipping point in this industry as far as the way consumers interact with us and us becoming, when I mean us, I mean brokers becoming the preferable alternative uh, to the way traditional uh, mortgage is getting done. 
And I think we're at a really unique point in our career. And I'm excited about spending the last you know, third or, or plus of, of my career um, moving this organization forward, moving the technology forward, and continue to add value to, to, to the brokers and, and their companies. Honestly, you know, I'm, I'm very much engaged in association work and government relations work. Uh, I think there's a lot of work that still needs to be done there. And I'm, and I'm lucky to be on, 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 the, on the board again, sitting at executive. So I want to continue obviously doing that all in the best interest of uh, the mortgage broker industry and of uh, Newton and of course the DLC group of companies. So it's a really exciting time uh, to be kind of jumping into this thing two feet first and listening to the brokers and adding value um, wherever I can. Yeah, yeah, you know, thank you for that. And uh, you have played a, a, a played a pivotal part in the associations uh, for years and been very visible and very helpful. And, you know, we know our friends Paul Taylor and uh, group at uh, at at uh, MPC have have just done uh, a wonderful job, especially over the last couple of years uh, working with uh, government. Thanks for your part in that. Um, Mr. Jeff Willis, tell us about uh, Joe and, and Joe's position and and why you're so excited about this and, you know, what you see uh, coming down the pipe for us going forward. Sure. So, yeah, no, Joe and I've had a chance to talk quite a bit in the last few weeks. And I think what we've come to realize is that, you know, when you run a business a certain way and you have a certain group of constituents you're trying to serve the needs of, you sometimes forget about what else is out there. And what Joe brings is sort of this breath of fresh air. He has a different perspective. He spent a lot of time with a whole bunch of different broker owners and agents that have different pain points. And I, I think he's just gonna bring us a new perspective. And although Joe used the word technology a few times there, I think what we wanna do is we wanna figure out in this next phase, how to make the technology part of this invisible and make it just so that users feel that it's just, you know, it's just intertwined into their customer experience and, and, and the tools that they have access to to deliver uh, a better experience for their clients. So I think Joe will help us fine tune our ability to make that technology delivered much more seamlessly and much more in tune with kind of what the broker really needs in order to take their business next level with these tools. Yeah, yeah, no question. So what does that look like? This is to both you gentlemen, to, you know, everyone on the call right now, uh, you know, obviously from a, a group perspective, uh, I was on a call on Friday and I made it incredibly clear. Uh, we are uh, all hands on deck. We are completely uh, engaged and very focused around the whole 360 ecosystem. Uh, and our role, obviously, for the end consumer is to make their job easier, to make the uh, journey uh, much simpler. Um, so how does that, uh, you know, in, in your opinion, what is the most important thing uh, for that consumer journey uh, going into the future? And, and, and where are our priorities today around Newton? Yeah, I think right now that our immediate priority is making sure that the balance of people that want to get onboarded to Velocity and transition over from Expert and pick us as their submission platform, that they're able to do so. Um, you know, obviously, obviously, since mid-March when there was that outage, uh, there'd certainly be a huge uptick in, in, in interest and people saying, uh, I got to do something different. Uh, I think it's also been reflected in the number of sort of good uh, feedback that we're getting now from agents uh, to other agents on why this is the right thing for them to do. So onboarding is a, a very key factor in making sure that we make it easy for people to transition. But I think beyond that, Gary, and it's more immediate, is that we've got to make sure that all the tools that help a broker serve a client from a distance are easy to use and available to them. And I think that's where we're trying to turn our training energy is to make sure that um, if you can't sit across the desk from a customer uh, and go through their approval package, how can you stimulate that experience? So we're trying different ways and means to deliver that so brokers, they can do more than just see each other with their customers on the screen. They can actually walk through their documents, get everything signed, get it returned, and it feels like they're together in that same room. So we, we've been working on types of training to help them access the tools that were there before but are now more and more uh, needed because you just can't get together with people in the way that you used to. Yeah, and if yeah, I, no I, I ahead, sorry, Gary. yes, no, if I can add as well, and you know, a couple of points that, that Gary, I'm sorry, that Jeff mentioned, um, everything, our businesses are, are gonna be basically defined by the experience that our customers have. And I think if COVID has taught us anything, is how important uh, Canadians or consumers wanna be connected to their mortgage professionals they might be want to connect it in a different way, and technology is it's got to, it's going to take a big role in, in defining that, that that customer experience. 
And, you know, we, we know through Zoom meetings that we have all over the place and, you know, the Zoom parties, people want to feel connected. It just the connectivity is probably going forward, it's going to look different than what it has in the past. And as mortgage professionals, if we don't change and adapt to the way we do business, we're probably going to be left behind because the world is changing around us and consumer behaviors are changing probably at lightning speed. And again, if COVID has taught us anything, it's taught us that. Yeah. So, Joe, the, the asset itself, the actual velocity asset itself, I mean, we've had just incredible feedback. It's been all over social media. I mean, anyone who has uh, been using it has said they would never go back and they wish they would have started six months ago. Uh, right. You know, a lot of people on this call don't know this, but we bought this asset three years ago. Uh, it took me four years to buy it out of the uh, the UK, but it wasn't a new asset. It was a 35 year old asset. Matter of fact, it did the servicing, uh, one of the servicing platforms for RBC for many years. Uh, it's still the platform that uh, MCAP uses to uh, to service as well. Uh, mm -hmm. It had a very, very uh, long and, and storied past uh, yeah. as a institutional uh, platform. It has uh, great bandwidth. It, it's a very strong platform. Um, you know, the platform itself, you've looked at it now, you've used right. it, you've become intimate with it. Yeah. Uh, a, what are your thoughts on the platform? Yeah. Uh, B, what do you like about it? Well, I think the, per the first thing you have to like it is that it's a, a solution from basically A, a to Z immediately. Obviously, it has all the connectivity with the lenders probably more so than even X right now because of the alt hub and all the alternate lenders that we have. So that's the, the, the first thing that I think is just uh, like so, so important. Everybody wants to be in the same environment to do their business. Uh, so that, that's the first thing. The way uh, it, it it moves and the way it goes you know, from, from a contact to an application, right to a submission, the documents is the huge thing. And customers don't feel comfortable scanning uh, or sending documents via fax or even uh, fax i should say or even scanning them into an email so i think the thing the one piece that really impressed me uh was the flow of documentation and how it's easy to get the documentation uh, from the customers and we know nowadays when it comes to the application process there's only two things that really matter it's the credit report and the documentation so having a seamless way to gather the documentation um is really it's probably the the one thing that that probably impressed me the most because i'm all about documentation so I think that that's really uh, uh, an interesting competitive advantage that's out there, again, in comparison to uh, the broker community, but more importantly, in comparison uh, to the way the banks do business. Yeah, and you know what they say, right? Any good broker says no doc, no talk. And if I can't yeah. easily collect the doc in a secured fashion and manner and, you know, have it prepared before I spend a lot of time on a file, then, you know, I'm probably making a mistake. Uh, same question to you, Jeff. You know, here you've been... Uh, you know, uh, very involved in an incredible uh, job with uh, with uh, Velocity. Uh, have onboarded like crazy, especially since the blackout with uh, Phylogix. I think a lot of people, um, you know, just realize having the redundancy uh, or not having the redundancy and relying only on a single system, single point of failure was and could be catastrophic as we saw. Um, when you look at the top three today, tools or assets of Velocity, I'm, there's many, of course, but what do you reckon that? Like, what, what are your favorites? Yeah, well, just to dovetail off of one thing that I think Dave showed up on the screen while we were uh, in between conversation there is we have a new program called Zoom for Everyone. So we're actually trying to show people how to learn to deliver that sort of face-to-face -face experience from a distance with Zoom training. So you can either do a self-serve video series that we've got on our website uh, at newton.ca. Uh, there, Dave's got the page back up again, or Zoom dash for everyone, uh, or or you can actually have one of our trainers participate in a team meeting and show you how you can overcome that reluctance to really lean in and take control of a client's screen, so you can walk through the documents as if they were a paper on your on your desk, uh, and you can use eSign, uh, and we'll talk about eSign a little bit. We've made eSign available free of charge to all of our users for the balance of this year. So I think the, this incorporating of how to do business in our current environment using things like Zoom for everyone is really important. I think Joe touched on it a little bit. Uh, I think it's about making it simpler and easier to get everything you need to do the right job up front. So that's a combination of making sure that your application intake and your documents can be combined as early on in the process as possible. There's other providers that have done a good job delivering similar uh, sort of technologies in the marketplace. And we believe we're about to come over the top on all of those with our new client experience where we actually connect our application and our client portal right at the same time. So after you've given a consultation to your client over the phone, you can send them one link to actually do the application, 
have their to-do list of all the documents you need and get them both in right onto your um, Velocity Deal Dashboard right up front. And we think that's gonna be a bit of a game changer for our brokers and agents. Many of our users have been asking for it for a long time. It's great that we have both, but could they work together? And we're really excited about delivering that. So I think that's probably the next big thing that we think is gonna help a broker deliver a, a better client experience and certainly come over the top on our other, what we would call maybe perhaps competition in some parts of the segment. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, listen, there's always competition everywhere you go and there's gonna be competition and there's new upstarts all the time and there's people with really, really good, you know, segments or pieces uh, and competition, frankly, I mean, makes us all better. Uh, it's interesting because I think our uh, focus has always been for a 360 ecosystem. So, you know, uh, a system to work with your payroll, a system to work with your compliance, a system to work for uh, with your uh, marketing and calling out and staying in touch to not only new customers, but uh, past customers, a system that works really well for the lenders where the lenders can ingest, you know, uh, all the documents they need uh, in real time. Uh, and for us, I mean, that is a huge commitment. I, I said on a call on Friday, I promise you, from our perspective, this will be hands down default, the very best system in the Canadian finance space. I mean, we will not stop. I, I'm not a guy that makes a whole bunch of commitments uh, and doesn't deliver. It's, it's, it's who we are. Uh, and we are unbelievably committed. And it's been really, really fun the last year because that system now, compared to what it was 12 months ago, is completely different. I mean, and that is with the thanks to so many brokers and owners and and lenders and, you know, uh, adjudicators that have given us feedback and saying, hey, if it could do this or, if, you know, if it was flowing this way, it would make a difference. So thank you to everyone who has contributed to all those changes. Um, before we, we start talking more about the system itself, I want to actually talk about Joe, Joe himself. Um, I want everyone on this call who maybe doesn't know Joe get to know Joe. And, you know, I mean, I've known Joe now for 13 or 14 years, um, but I didn't know him really, really, um, you know, close. And over, you know, over the last sort of 60 days, we've spent all kinds of, of time together. And one thing about Joe is that when we, you know, uh, ran into him at a trade show over the years or, you know, saw him in an event, uh, he was always so gracious. He was just such a down to earth guy and he was beloved, absolutely beloved in the Canadian market space. And you don't get that way, you know, uh, unless you're helping other people and, and just a really kind individual. Joe, maybe spend, you know, a few minutes and just tell us about your background, about your family, about your hobbies. Oh just tell us a bit about Joe. Okay. That's kind of, you just don't like talking about myself. I'm pretty kind of boring. Uh, <laughs> I've, been, boring I've, I've, I've been in the, like, the, the real estate mortgage space uh, since I was like 22, 23 years old. So it's getting on like the, about 30 years, I guess. Uh, of course, 22 years uh, with Mortgage Alliance, got to meet uh, Michael Beckett earlier on in my career. And then I had a, a great time working with him and the rest of the team there. Um, mar married twice, you know, divorced twice, uh, uh, one daughter per wife. And and my joke, and I hope it's not offensive, but that was my limit, one one daughter per one child per wife. So I kept to that. And I'm a, grand I'm a grandfather as well. I have a, a five-year-old uh, grandson. His, his name is uh, Mason. He's the, the most beautiful, little, adorable boy. Um, he was over yesterday causing me havoc, so it was lots of fun. I'm born and raised in Cambridge. I'm, you know, basically born at the same hospital that my kids and my grandson was born at. So we're all we're all here right here in Cambridge, Ontario. I don't think I'm going to be moving um, anytime soon. Um, you know, born yeah, born and raised here. Uh, I've done the motorcycle ride. Some of you have known uh, with the Macarelli of Hope, led again by by Michael Becker. So rode coast to coast several occasions. You know, raised over a million dollars for the Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation, and the Canadian Cancer Society. Uh, I don't know, broke both my legs and three surgeries and, and a run and I'm a long distance runner now. Yeah, this is, you know, love, love, love to cook. Yeah. I'm a handyman. I can pretty much do do anything. And as uh, as the my favorite line, the red green, if anybody remembers red, red green, I'm probably aging myself. If you can't be handsome, at least be handy. So I've always wanted to make sure I was handy. So. And you're and you're and you're. I don't know, if, you know, if I missed it or not, but you're you're handsome and handy, oh, and, and an incredible cook, and yeah. very successful, and you know, uh, very got a a very storied background in the Canadian market space. Well, thanks yeah. for sharing. Uh, one of the things too, I mean, I I'd like to give Michael Beckett a, a shout out. I know um, you and him worked side by side for a lot of years. Uh, one of the finest individuals in the Canadian mortgage space. You could always count on Mike to be uh, kind and gentle and just, just a, an absolute prince of a man. So, Mike, if you happen to be out there watching this, uh, just wanted to uh, give you a shout out and, 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 and say hello. Uh, always been one of our favorites. Chris and I have 
have uh, just thought you to be a, a great individual. So um, anyway, um, so so Jeff, moving forward, tell us the plan uh, for Joe. Obviously, a huge you know part of Joe's you know senior management management position there is to help uh with the onboarding uh help convert uh you know uh, teams this is a utility it isn't only available to our group of companies uh obviously uh, we have agents from every group we have um you know independence on uh on velocity right now um and you know for us sort of let's talk about actually jeff um that that security piece i know there's been some questions from people along the way, well, you know, Dominion Lending Centers has an investment in in uh, Newton, um, has an investment in in Velocity as a utility. You know, are we or should we be concerned about our data or you know privacy? Uh, and of course, you know, we know the answer is. I mean, that's you know, we have agreements with every major bank, trust, credit company, you know, uh, lender in the in the Canadian finance space, and that isn't an option. But I'd like to hear your feedback and response on that, please, Jeff. Yeah, well, we, we do have a pledge that's out there, Gary. It's how we safeguard your data. We also have a terms of service right on our website and a privacy uh, position in terms of how we uh, take care of it and who owns the data. It's pretty straightforward. Um, obviously, we don't want to put anybody in harm's way within their own brokerage, so we're respectful of those relationships. But, you know, truth be told, just as you said, we have uh, representations and warranties that we make to lenders that we connect with that would preclude us from interacting with that data, sharing that data with anybody other than the owner of it, which is clearly indicated in those documents I just told you. And there's a letter that I've shared with all the network presidents or any agent that wants it, uh, that talks a little bit about our role and the level of uh, consent that we need from individual users in order to act on th those um, uses of that data. And it's usually directed by the agent themselves. So anybody that wants that can request it from me. It's been posted on our website a few times. It talks a little bit about, again, it's just called safeguarding your data and our role in it. So, you know, unlike a lot of other players, when you when you are in the connectivity business with the major financial institutions in Canada, uh, you can't, you know, you, you've got to play by their rules to a large extent. And, and we do that because of the contracts we sign. Yeah, yeah, thank you for that. Um, so let's talk about products going uh, forward with, um, with the company. Uh, who wants to uh, start? You want to lead us into uh, some new products or you want to talk about some uh, individual products, uh, Joe and or, or Jeff, either one of you? Joe, you want me to take that or you want to start? Yeah, yeah, you can start with that, Jeff. Okay. I think something that's probably really topical for people that are, are just joining us uh, is, is what's taking place in our marketplace, you know, really becoming live and real to us July 1st, and that is the Equifax changes to mm. how credit reports are shared and the whole concept of credentialing lenders. Secondarily, I think Phylogix, through our conversations, plans to change how the availability of print applications are, are made. So there's this feeling that we need to find a way to bring these alternative lenders that are representing a greater and greater percentage of all deals into the digital marketplace. So we're working hard to make them a part of that. So you're going to see a lot more new lenders in both your expert and your Velocity lender menu drop down. So you can send your deals to them in the same way that you would the first Nats and the TVs and the Scotias. So that's important. Secondly, we have a new asset called AltHub that we've just launched today. So you'll see AltHub as another option in your lender drop down menu. And effectively what this is, is a, a bid auction marketplace for alternative lenders and brokers to find each other and to uh, anonymously interact in a way that tries to take the trickiest or the toughest deals that we might have and match them up with the right lending options for that client. We believe that it'll help us close more of these uh, difficult deals that we're brokers because we can go back to our customers and show them multiple bids and have social proof. So we really think it's gonna be a real valuable new asset into the marketplace. And, and I think that some of the estimates are that one out of every five new applications is going into that alternative space. So. We, we think that we can do a really good job of matchmaking between the broker and agent and those lenders. Yeah, I'll just I'll make a comment on that. Uh, obviously, over the last five years, uh, we went from, uh, you know, sort of the the alt A or, or the B private space, um, you know, starting at about one or two percent of our business today. It's up to kind of, you know, 13, 14, 15 percent, depending on the marketplace. And, you know, a lot of that is to do with the government changes, uh, 
um, you know, that have uh, rolled out in, in the last 36 months. Uh, and we, we expect that to continue to, to grow. So, you know, this new asset, uh, all about number one, uh, the, the lenders are, are uh, the private lenders, the, the Alte lenders are really excited about it. Uh, they get much greater exposure. Not only do they get representation on, um, on velocity, but they get representation now uh, through our link on, uh, on expert as well. So it gives them a much, much uh, larger pool to work with brokers. Uh, and, and also from, from our standpoint, I think it, it does a lot of things to safeguard and, and preserve our industry. I mean, the biggest risk in the Canadian mortgage space, I've said for years, uh, is around some of these all day lenders, um, you know, some of these smaller mix uh, and specifically private lenders. And it's because there's been no um, aggregation of data. It's, it's, you know, no one knows how much activity there is, how many transactions are going on. Uh, nobody's uh, properly uh, monitoring it and tracking that. So it becomes a sort of a black hole for reporting. Mm -hmm. You know that is up to about 15 percent of the of the overall origination market uh based on some estimates so i think this you know makes it easier uh gives uh, more options to our brokers i think it gives uh, more options for many of these lenders it allows them a platform to uh you know come join uh the space but also it helps all of our brokers find the very best product and the very best pricing so we're excited about it i know you kicked it off today we've been baiting it for for some time i've been on several calls on it um i think it's going to be a, a huge part of our uh, our feature or sorry our future um so joe where do you think the biggest changes are uh going to occur uh when it comes to technology in our space um what's your sort of view on that yeah i, I think and, and talking to jeff either this morning or yesterday or maybe last week the fact that the te technology is exceptional when you don't see it and notice it as much. In other words, it becomes part of your daily practice and your, your daily process. So I think that's the development uh, thing that, that we're going to see. Uh, the other thing that's going to be really important as time goes on is is digital. Okay, uh, people are going to want to connect more and more on on cellular devices. You know, things of that nature. Uh, they're using it more now when when it comes to gathering information. And I think there's a huge comfort level in doing that. I think the application process is going to change quite a bit. I think, you know, like, like we still have, of course, on Velocity, we have, you know, the, the application, the classic that looks like uh, expert, and then we have the different, more custom view. I think we're going to see more people using the custom view. So I think the application process is going to change. I think uh, uh, you know, products and things like, you know, the idea behind flings, things of that nature, the way we gather documentation is going to change. I just think that the streamlining of the business is going to change dramatically in the next three to five years. And again, it's what customers want, and uh, and they're not being forced to do it. They actually want uh, want to be doing business that, that way. So I think that that's the huge opportunity. And I think in that process, it's going to create huge efficiencies for mortgage brokers. It's going to create more profitability for brokers and, and mortgage practices, whether you're an individual, a broker, uh, or a company unto itself. So I see the technology really making a difference when it comes to the efficiencies, the way we run business, and more important. Uh, is the customer experience, the end customer experience. Um, again, it's, it's what they want, and it's, I think it's what's, what's going to be needed, and that's, a, that's what I'm really excited about the future of technology and velocity. Yeah, it's funny. I mean, you know, if you look at any uh, sort of, uh, you know, today's generation entrepreneur, they talk about the easiest way to the uh, customer's heart is convenient. Nothing trumps convenience. Con convenience trumps everything. The least amount of clicks, the easiest transition, the fastest ability to collect uh, docs, the you know quickest uh, integration. Uh, and I know that's been the, the main driver uh, for us. And online applications, there's, there's a few out there. Obviously, uh, ours integrates and ingests right into CRMs as well. Um, you know, Jeff, if we talk about uh, the new program, the front end uh, program, uh, the narrowing down of product selection via discovery. Uh, I think it's something that we are constantly uh, working on getting better at. Uh, it's still running as a uh, beta, uh, but it's doing uh, incredibly well. Maybe just speak to that for a minute, Jeff, and tell us how that's going. Sure. Yeah, I think this is a way for us to make it so that brokers don't have that old manual process of lining up all the rate sheets from all the lenders. And of course, they're a lot more complex now because there's a different rate depending on occupancy and a different rate depending on the size of the mortgage. So it's hard to sometimes figure out which is the best fit. So discovery is designed to make it so that you can actually enter information about your client, the property or the product, and it matches it up with all the lenders. And uh, you can do that either before you do a whole application 
or, or, or after. So it, it's up to you. So the, the notion is that you can actually march to your clients some more choices. And I think as brokers, it's more incumbent upon us to make our clients more part of the, um, the selection process. So it's not, are we going to do business together? It's more, we're going to do business together. Let's together pick what is going to be the best fit for you relative to your circumstance. So we're trying to create discovery as a tool to help brokers and agents get access to that information quickly without having to reference uh, paper rate sheets or trying to remember all of the, the various lender attributes in terms of their credit appetite. Yeah. Yeah. No, incredible. Uh, so when we look at uh, onboarding and, you know, I said earlier, there's a ton of people and I think we're doing kind of $4 billion a month in uh, origination application going through the system right now. Um, I've said this before. So for those who have heard it, uh, please forgive me, but, you know, I, I was sort of, um, you know, maybe the worst partner to have Jeff uh, in the early days in Velocity, because quite frankly, I would not, you know, do one of these calls. I would not have a webinar. I would not stand on a stage and would promote the product until I said I was getting raving reviews. Until people said, listen, I've made the change. It's funny because I'm taking nothing away from Expert. I mean, you know, we have a good partnership with them and it's been a utility and a platform, you know, for many years. Um, but, you know, our focus has really been on making the entire, um, you know, sort of experience better from the first application to the integration of data, uh, to the payroll, to the compliance. Um, so, you know, when I, when I, when I look at, at where we're going and our drive for uh, convenience and its simplicity, um, you know, people who have us switched over right now are just creatures of habit, right? It's not because they love the old system. Or they just go, oh, my God, the old system is so incredible. They just got busy and stuck in their ways. And I would say to people, you know what? Totally cool. We get that. But making the change uh, is, is much easier than, than uh, what you think. So, I mean, I have now converted at our urgency, oh, my, dozens and dozens and dozens of big offices, three, four, $500 million offices that just go, wow, this was incredibly easy. Talk to us about the, the changeover, uh, the ease of changeover. Uh, what it looks like, what I should expect, and how long it'll take. Either way. Yeah. Sure. Um, I, I think what you said earlier, and Joe kind of touched on it before about trying to make the technology seamless. You know, you, it's great to have customers that want to have it really convenient, make it really easy. But the people that are actually interacting with those clients, they got to feel as comfortable as well. So, you know, and, and we spent a lot of time on this trying to figure out how do we make this feel good for the broker and agent to use. And I think that's kind of where we're going right now. Joe, you might want to speak to us at this issue, yeah. but right now in terms of transitioning offices, uh, Joe really knows the pain points of a lot of broker owners when it comes to transferring, particularly around compliance and payroll. And we've even made in the short time he's been with us some changes to our whole master compliance file and how it interacts more seamlessly with easy pay so that distributing money gets easier for that broker owner. Uh, and I think that's really helped us get the broker owner on side. So it's not just the agent saying, hey, we should all go on this. It's the broker owner driving the team to say, let's all do this together. Yeah. And if I can add to it, like if everybody, and it's just, we're just sort of creatures of habit. I, we, we don't like change unless, unless sometimes we feel like we're forced into change. And of course, you know, we, we all know that expert was down and, and it probably, you know, we'll have another situation like that again. But, um, but outside of that, uh, changing changing just makes sense okay yeah, and put it this way eventually you're probably going to have to change because the world around us is changes and i talk about the consumer expectation and so forth what i find personally is when i started going on there it's the ease of which everything is there um the training video that i think was just on the screen there those training videos are like amazing and they're made for adults in the sense that they're not 22 minutes they're not a half an hour and they speak exactly to what it is that you wanted uh that you need at that point so I was really impressed with the ease of which the tech, uh, the training is delivered. I know there's a training session today. I think as we speak, there's one right now happening. There's one at three o'clock today, which I'm probably going to uh, join in. So the training makes it really, really easy. And if you're already using Expert and other programs, it's not that big of a change. But what you'll find is all the features just make your business go so much more efficiently. So within two or three days, once you're on the system, you you won't go back. It just because it just it just moves that smooth. So I think that those individuals that are contemplating making a change today, today's as good as day as any day. And by Thursday, Friday, you'll you'll never look back. And that's just the reality of it. <laughs> yeah, I always say it's, you know, it's driving habits, changing habits is, is the most difficult ever. It's 
kind of like a new pair of shoes, right? I mean, often they can be a little uncomfortable for the first week or 10 days because it's something, it's something different. But, you know, often when you make a change, uh, you look back and you just go, wow, I'm so glad I did. And, you know, the re- I'll give you one example. The reluctancy uh, over this last 10 weeks with COVID-19 and the use of Zoom and the video conferencing that we're doing now and broadcasting live, uh, that reluctancy has evaporated overnight. I mean, it's been absolutely incredible. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it'll change forever the way we do business. I mean, how often do we have to meet customers? You know, I'll send them a Zoom link now and walk them through the documentation, our e-signatures. Right. Um, you know, gone are the days of having to drive to your office and park and walk through the rain and go up a elevator to sit down and, you know, spend, um, you know, 20 minutes with you and, you know, 20 minutes to get there and 20 minutes to get home. I mean, mm-hmm. it was just so, so simple now. and. You know, I, I honestly believe that we are at the uh, epicenter of, of this technology. There's, um, you know, regardless of what anybody says, there is uh, only two centralized uh, systems in Canada that have direct connectivity to all the lenders. There's uh, all kinds of organizations that have connectivity to two or three lenders or, you know, especially small lenders, easy to, you know, connect to a small lender because a small lender really needs that business. So they'll do anything, you know, work with anyone in order to, you know, get a get more business. That includes, you know, working through the process. But trying to get on a build schedule of, you know, of Toronto Dominion or one of the big Canadian banks or, you know, one of the large uh, credit union systems is almost impossible. I mean, there's been so many people that have tried it over the years. And and here we are in 2020 with two systems, right? Jeff, you use the the you use the example of two super highways in Canada right the 401 and the 407 you know as an example i mean you're gonna take one or the other and you know ultimately if if there's a wreck or a car crash on one of them um you need to go to the other one right you need to be able to switch over very very quickly so you can you know carry on your journey and it's no different in our space right now i mean you know there is two super highways and and one of them has access to both and has redundancy and that is um you know velocity and newton connectivity systems so you know, just to remind everyone, I, I, you know, you have our word. I mean, we are spending millions and millions of dollars uh, on this system. I mean, we are integrating our dev team is around the clock on this. Our, um, our development and the pace of our development and the priority and the critical path is dependent on the feedback. And, you know, we're not running it like a resource where we're just, you know, we have everyone signed up and, and, and they're using, you know, our bridge. We are constantly you know, tweaking and revising uh, that technology so that it communicates two ways with all of our customers. And our customers are the Canadian mortgage brokers, uh, the Canadian lenders. So, you know, we're excited about it. Uh, um, you know, we, 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 we think we'll, we'll be at, you know, sort of 80 to 90 percent of all of our origination by the end of this year. Um, and, and this period over the last 10 weeks, you know, in, in many ways has been quite helpful because people have, you know, realized that making the change is not that difficult. And when they adapt new habits, um, you know, they see how easy it is. So we're, we're excited about it. So new products uh, coming down the, the map, Jeff, that, uh, that you two would like to speak about or uh, that you're excited about? Well, we've already talked about a couple of them. I mean, Altub's new today, so I guess it's not coming down the pipe. It's 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 there live. Sure. So it, it's one that we're going to. It, and, it, and the thing I would like to tell everybody is that whenever you bring a first version product, and it's part of the reason Gary, you've asked us many times to put the the word beta on it, um, is that you you learn when it's in market. All the things that you think that you've got right, you learn more because all of a sudden you have a whole number of users interacting with it. And I think that's one of the things we want to demonstrate as a company is that we learn from our customers. We are organized based on broker experience and lender experience. We have two customer uh, groups that we try to serve the needs up and we listen to them. So Altub will get better. Discovery will get better. Uh, First version products generally aren't your best version, but I'm hoping that people that are watching this and are thinking about their current situation saying, do I want to be where, the business has been or do I want to be where the business is going and I hope that by listening to us and hearing what we're doing and making investments in people like Joe that really will contribute to building this better from a broker perspective that you'll say I need to I I need to move to where the business is going uh, in order to continue to be successful so I'll have certainly one Um, we can expand on it if you want but our next big thing is the client experience which is the connection between our online client journey and our client portal and that is a big, big deal. Um, you'll see on the, the, the image that Dave is sh- showing there, 
that a big part of what our deliverables are going to be going forward is that we want to make everything seamless on mobile. And that doesn't mean that it's responsive. It's actually built for mobile. So we're working very closely with uh, other partners to make sure that we have one great mobile solution to get customers and brokers on the app and want to stay on that app even after their mortgage advances. So that's a big part of our, our trajectory going forward too. Yeah. One of the, uh, talking about mobile, it's, you know, I think, I think Apple coined, coined it, you know, uh, used this phrase many years ago when they uh, launched their, uh, their iPod thousand songs in your pocket. And, and literally our mobile application right now is the best in the Canadian mortgage space. If you haven't gone to the Canadian mortgage app and downloaded it, or if you're not working with my mortgage toolbox, um, you know, it is incredible. Um, Ben Salami and his team at uh, Ben DG are, you know, and I say this with complete love, they are the epitome of super nerds. And, and I love super nerds because these guys are so incredibly bright, but it is all about integration of doing everything that you want to do with that mortgage customer, whether it's submit a deal, whether it's get an approval, whether it's a pre-approval, whether it's upload documentation, whether it's submit for pay, you know, is completely done on your mobile mortgage toolbox. And the integration already is, uh, is excellent, but you know, we are spending so much energy on that integration to mobile. We want you to be able to do every part of your business at any time, uh, just from the palm of your hand. I mean, that is it. So, you know, it already, the My More Mortgage Toolbox already, you know, has contracts and does, you know, uh, the tax roll right across the country in every single market. It does the, you know, pre-approval. It does the pre-approval uh, uh, cert. It gives you uh, rate updates from every lender in Canada every single day. It's got, you know, uh, it's got a complete, um, you know, AM schedule. I mean, if you go through our mortgage uh, toolbox application and look how powerful this thing is. It trumps everything in the business bar none. It's got, I think now 15,000 five-star reviews on uh, the Google play store and the, uh, and the Apple store. Um, and it's, you know, and, and it will integrate every part of this uh, process from the palm of your hand. And our, our, our team's working around the clock on that. So, you know, super excited right there again, it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's one word. What drives us is convenience right how do we become better how do we make the actual circle easier for our customers and it's all uh begins with convenience so uh super uh looking forward to that so so joe uh, yeah. what's so great about you when you're speaking to you know teams and agents and yeah. not only teams that are with us but teams that are looking to make the change over regardless of brand over to um over to uh velocity uh it's a breath of fresh air because they get to they get they're working with someone who has taken all of their feedback but who has been at the you know very uh, top position at you know one of the incredible canadian mortgage companies uh who has seen technology from both sides but understands uh you know uh, mortgages not only from a distribution and from a submission perspective but also from a lender perspective uh so i mean that's really where uh, you're going to be so incredibly valuable have you have are you out there are you are you are you food yeah. on the street now are you converting teams uh, how does somebody get a hold of you if they're listening and they want to get on to velocity if they go you know what i'm not going to be a follower i'm going to jump in and lead this thing yeah so i, I guess my i'm sure my my email confirmation or my email will, uh, there it is it's, it's right there uh I, like obviously with the COVID, it's really hard to get out there i've had a lot of people obviously within sure. the dlc group of companies as well as other organizations people that that, that have known me over the years um you know, kind of reach out and, and we're doing, you know, there is some demos that, that, that are happening. There was a couple of points that, that you touched on. Yeah. That the, what I'm excited about is that the fact that I do understand brokerages. I, I understand how companies work. I understand, uh, you know, the team concept and so forth. I know their pain. And the fact that, uh, you know, I can take that feedback and I can do something positive with that feedback and you know, contribute to the change. Because as I mentioned right from the onset, it, it's something that's built by brokers for brokers. So we understand brokers, we understand the pain point. And as your business evolves, so will this technology. So I like that, you know, get on, get on the velocity train, because as you said, we're, we're dedicated to, to moving this. And this is about changing the landscape of the way mortgage professionals do business and interact with lenders and their customers. So it's really gonna be uh, taking their feedback and, and using it to say, you know what, this is something we should look at, or this is already here. Uh, you know, or how to use the tools within the system that's already there to better your business, create more efficiencies. Because I think I also believe there's a lot of people using Velocity that really don't understand uh, the full power of it just yet. 
Uh, yes, yeah, so that's basically what, what I'm excited about doing is get, you know, go, go wrap my arms around these brokers, uh, again, inside and outside and say, guys, this is this is what we can do to take your business to a new level. And this is how we're going to use technology to, to do it for, with you. Yeah, I just, uh, I saw just a quote come across the screen from uh, your girlfriend. Uh, and well, I talked about, it. I thought, I, I, yeah, a good hockey player, uh, I would just say, a good hockey player plays where the puck is, a great hockey player plays where the puck is going. And I think, you know, uh, someone on this call yeah. used that expression exactly. And of course, early on, you know, uh, I said, bringing you over to our side was, you know, the equivalent of when Wayne Gretzky was traded from yeah. Edmonton to, to LA. Our, you know, our, there's, there's been a couple other amazing examples over the years in the sports world. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So thanks for that, Luce. You're 100% right, right? Going where the puck is, uh, you know, is going in fact is, is, you know, I think where we're going as a company. Um, so, you know, guys, as we sort of wrap this thing today, uh, I just want to take this, um, you know, this opportunity to to thank everyone out there in the Canadian mortgage space for the good work they always do. Um, and for the feedback that they've given uh, Marlboro Sterling uh, in the early days and then obviously Newton uh, and the product uh, velocity uh, over the last couple of years. Uh, the, you know, the feedback from all of our agents, um, agents in the industry has been incredible and, and helpful. And we talk about that beta and we always launch product as beta because we want you to know that we want your feedback. We need your feedback. Uh, you guys know what's required and how we can make uh, your life easier. So nothing will ever change. We're right. completely committed to that. And, you know, I think that's why we were so excited about having Joe because he just, you know, is just so um, committed and engaged in, in helping people. And he just sees there's such an opportunity. Uh, and I agree, Joe. I mean, I think that um, the Canadian mortgage space uh, is changing right now and it's changing rapidly, right? The reluctancy to use technology has evaporated. Um, I think in, in, in many ways, um, you know, digital conferencing, uh, e-signatures. I mean, you look at the Canadian banks and you look at TD and Scotia recently. I mean, these banks were, you know, working on their uh, digital tools for the last five years. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. COVID happens and, you know, all of a sudden, you know, they all have them in 14 days, right? And that often happens when there's a need and a requirement and you have no choice. People make the change. And once they make the change, they go, wow. This is going to be better forever. I'm going to be more effective uh, than ever before. And that's exactly what we're seeing right now. And, you know, if you're out there and you're listening right now and you haven't made the change just because you've been busy or haven't got around to it, uh, I promise you, feel free to reach out to me anytime, uh, Gary at DLC.ca. I'll get you on the fast track and get your office uh, converted. Um, but just go online and, and social media and, and talk to all the incredible agents. I'm talking like top agents in the country that have converted, that are using this technology. I mean, it is, I, I promise you, it is our number one focus, our number one driver. It is the, it is the thing that is most important to us, uh, really nailing this so that everyone using this system goes, wow, what they promised me, they delivered. This was incredible. And they are constantly revising and tweaking and making it better. Uh, it's 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 the only thing that keeps me up at night, you know, and, and I'm super happy. And, and bringing someone like you, Joe, on board at the helm here to work really close uh, is, is you know, uh, with Jeff is just incredible. I mean, we just, your perspective, your knowledge, your background, um, you know, uh, just all the experience that you've had is is incredible. We're all very, very, very fortunate. So, um, you know, I'll give sort of the last couple minutes to you guys uh, and then we'll wrap the call. Go ahead, Joe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Th th thanks. Thanks for all the kind words. And then, you know, the Gretzky an analogy, I'm not sure I'm quite Gretzky, but nevertheless, uh, that's, uh, that's very cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited. And I agree with everything that you said, you know, we, we always got to build a company, look, look into the future. And I think that's exactly what, what we're doing with, with uh, uh, Newton. It's, it's not just to service the brokers, the needs of the brokers today, of course, but it's also to make sure that, that we're, we're in the right place for the brokers that, that are coming tomorrow. And it's definitely those brokers that want to build and grow their companies and their franchises and their teams and so forth are gonna need the best technology when it comes to bringing over uh, new people into the industry as well. So I think that's probably the most exciting thing. I, again, I'm excited about the last uh, the last third of, third of my career, making an impact, a great impact, um, right there organization that I know I can make an impact immediately and down down you know as the years go on, so I couldn't be more excited. And I wanna you know, extend a real thank you to, to everybody within the DLC group of companies, been extremely uh, welcoming uh, very gracious to say the least. Uh, you know, like Dong Lee is one person that I've been very close to. Everybody, Dustin's great, Eddie's great, Rich is fantastic, and of course uh, Jeff. It's getting to know Jeff. He's probably the one I knew the least of over the over the years. Uh, and and Jeff is like extremely passionate 
and committed. And I think that, you know, the, the, you know, the three of us with the, with the passion and the commitment that we have for this space, I can't see us being anything but extremely successful uh, over the next few years. Yeah, that poor guy, Jeff, he was getting texts from me last night at 1130 at night on a Sunday evening. I'm talking about products and where we're going and speed of efficiency and urgency. Uh, you know, he probably, yeah, I, I, he's going to, uh, he, you know, he's, he's, he's completely dialed in. Sorry, guys, I'm babbling a bit, but yeah. he is completely dialed in. And uh, you guys are going to make a, an incredible team. Uh, we're super excited about it. Jeffrey, um, as long as we don't miss thanking all of our lenders, our lender partners have been incredible. You know, they've been so excited about working with us because we're making it easier for them on their side. And, you know, they're getting very intuitive, quick response. Uh, they've been our biggest supporters on this whole thing. So I want to give them a shout out. But with that, I want to give you last words. Yeah, you're right. Lenders have been a big part of this success. I think they want to see change. Uh, I think there's a feeling that we need as a as an industry to just get better and serve clients better. And for many of them, when they start getting into their own digital solutions, direct to consumer, uh, one of the learnings that, that they've shared with me, particularly those in the banks, have now got you know direct to consumer digital offerings. They say, oh my God, I've now seen, we now see how much a mortgage broker actually does with their customers. We were perhaps not as dialed into understanding the level of uh, stewardship and leadership and the amount of questions you need to answer. So they're learning some things as they're going forward too. And they're, they're realizing this is a very important channel and a channel that can win the, the customer experience day. So I just want to leave people with a few things to kind of remember because we went through a lot very quickly. Um, one is, and this is the next biggest change because you asked me a few times about new products, is this client experience. And we kind of make it an analogy to the, um, you know, two great tools coming together. And uh, I'm getting to date myself here, but it was an old, old commercial series. People walking down the street, one with peanut butter, one with chocolate, banging into each other. And, hey, you got peanut butter in my chocolate, you got chocolate in my peanut butter. Oh, my God, it's so much better together. And that's what we think this client experience is going to be for brokers and agents is the ability to have two great tools that operate independently and put them together so you can build a more fully complete submitted deal to make those lenders love you because they'll be able to approve your deal one time only. So that's one thing. Watch for that over the coming weeks. We've got some teasers coming. Two, as people get more into back doing business again, uh, they're going to start building their pipeline. They want to focus on what the cost is to drive new customers. We've started by giving you free e-sign uh, within Velocity. So for the rest of this calendar year, you do not pay to use e-sign. And we've templated all your consents and all your compliance documents. So you do not have to do the drag and drops to set them up. They're automatically populated and you can send them to your customers. Last but not least, we're looking at another promo probably later in June on another area that we all spend money on every time we do a deal. And we want to help you kind of focus your money on building your pipelines and not on the admin expense of billing that. So watch for that. We'll probably have something in a couple of weeks. And last but not least, if you haven't heard or know anything about Althub, get onto the web website at althub.ca. You can see some of our recordings on what's in it for brokers and agents and look for it in your drop down, whether you're an expert or a Velocity user and support this new marketplace. We've got 50 plus lenders in there already waiting for exact matches for them to bid on your deals. So with all that, uh, th that's pretty it. Yeah, I, I don't know if there's any questions or we have time left for questions for people that might have had something they wanted answered. Um, certainly prepared. Can to come in, uh, David? I see something about CRM and about the apply now button. Well, velocity to be accessible via cell phone even for, I can't see that bottom uh, part of the screen there. Even for calling. So, yeah, we, we actually uh, have an app today. We're looking at getting it integrated into My Mortgage Toolbox. But the idea is it's all about calling. It's one touch uh, calling to all your clients. So the idea was, you ever use that thousand songs in your pocket? It was all about take your clients in your pocket with you. So it downloaded all your client base and the previous deals you did with them. We have a better solution. We want to make it integrated into the current um uh, CMA and, and, and mortgage toolbox offering through all of the brands and into the marketplace. So we're building integrations with Ben Digi right now to make both that as well as a bunch of other tools available on your mobile. So you're going to see tons of mobile additions over the next six months. Something I think will give us a, a huge lead over everybody else as it relates to making things more convenient for uh, for our customers. Ellen, just to answer your question, that was Ellen Seltzer. Ellen, thank you for the question. Uh, to, to answer it really clear, anything in the Canadian mortgage space that you can do from any one of your tools right now, 
uh, will be available via mobile. It is our, it is our, you know, it is a critical path for us. It is an essential service. Our team knows that we have to be able to do any part of the transaction front to back via your mobile. And as I said, our dev team over at Bendiji, it's not, you know, one super nerd working in the corner trying to figure this out. It is a dev team that is working day in and day out on this, you know, just like our dev team at uh, Newton, you know, for us, it's, it's, it, it isn't, you know, it, it, we're not one and done, right? It is a, it is a lifelong pursuit to tweak and improve. So it's a huge commitment for us. Is discovery at a stage where other similar platforms are no longer necessary? Jeff? Uh, I mean, that's a pretty subjective question. For me, it is. Yeah, for sure. I don't need other platforms to access uh, rates and what is the best fit between my client profile and the product of choice. So I have confidence in, in the tool. Uh, you mentioned lenders earlier, Gary. I mean, the, one of the differences between us and, and others is that we're really working hard to get all of our lenders engaged so they own the content itself. And because that's a change to the previous processes they've had, it takes some time. And this is only since October. So we've got different levels of engagement by lender and we're working hard to advocate for them to pay more and more attention to that lender portal and give them more value on why it is they want to populate discovery with the right content. So yeah, my, the short answer is yes. And I think it's just going to continue to get better. Awesome. Um, I'll make, uh, I'll make one uh, sort of comment on that uh, too. So, I mean, you know, there's all kinds of good companies out there that have pieces of technology on the front end that plug in that are effective and that, you know, uh, are doing uh, good work. Uh, Discovery is one that is uh, integrated into our centralized uh, system, into the actual DNA of uh, Velocity. So it is still under beta. The feedback has been incredible. Um, but, you know, uh, it's like anything else. I mean, if you if you are uncertain and you think you have, you know, a certain uh, plug in on the front end that you're currently using and you want to use that for the next 90 days and to, until you can actually answer that question yourself and say, wow, this is incredible. I no longer need that third party system uh, by all means. What we don't want to do is disrupt your industry or sorry, your, your, your business in any way, shape or form. Um, I can tell you this, that when it is when it comes to, um, you know, submitting an application, sending it to lenders. Um, you know, getting the communication and collecting docs, the velocity system is incredible. It is better than anything out there by a factor of 10, right? There's absolutely no question. We have mastered that, right? It is also a system that is being invested in. So all these other areas, like the front end, the discovery, the application process, the scraping bank accounts, we're doing all of it now. And most of our brokers are saying it's incredible. They haven't used another system. They love it. Is is there certain, you know, points where, you know, we're going to say to you, it is 100% the very best in the world out there? You know, probably not. But here's what I will tell you. It absolutely will be. It 100% absolutely will be. So, you know, saying anything else, you have to sort of jump in and, uh, and get started. But, you know, the most important part, the application, the process, the documentation, the closing, the completion and the payroll, we are hands down the best at it. It is a kick-ass system now. Can we get an apply now link on Mortgage Toolbox to lead the client to the Velocity app? Jeff, I know the answer, but I'm going to jump in on there. I'm going to let you jump in first. Okay. Um, so we've got two things that we're just about to do, Amber, with uh, with Bendigi and our, my Mortgage Toolbox, and that is linking to your Velocity account uh, right from the toolbox so you can start to use it as your way into Velocity without having to log in, done through a secure channel. Uh, secondarily, we are working with Ben on a full client journey and the implication of including the client portal uh, into a mobile environment. So we're already on that. So it's more than an apply now. It's the ability to do the full credit app uh, on the mobile. So, you know, 5G is going to change a lot about how people interact with mobile. There may be a time where people are going to use more voice activated applications than actually using their uh, keyboard to enter data from a mobile. So there's going to be a lot of changes that are going to come very quick uh, on the mobile phone. So we want to make sure we deliver something that stays in front of where the business is going. The other thing that we built there connected to him that we've still got to activate, it's going to happen in the second half, is what we call push notifications so that you'll be updated on status changes from lenders. Your customers could effectively be also updated on status changes or things that you've got going on in their files so they stay connected in the app right, as they're going through the application. So there's a lot of good work about to come out. Uh, we've just got to do some fine tuning and some some testing to make that stuff all available to you on your mobile. All right, guys, with that, I think we'll uh, cut it off in order to respect the time. That's a full 60 minutes. 
Uh, thank you very much, gentlemen, for uh, for joining me today and for providing some uh, great color and feedback. Uh, Jeff, continued good work. Uh, I, I just love the feedback that we're getting from uh, Velocity. I mean, it has been just raving fans, and that's important to me. So thank you for that. And Joe, uh, officially in front of everyone else listening right now, uh, thank you for uh, believing in us. Uh, thanks for uh, for joining the uh, the team. We're thrilled to have you. Uh, you. We, we know you're going to make such a meaningful impact uh, in our industry, in our organization, in our associations uh, going forward. And uh, we are just absolutely thrilled to have you with us. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right, guys.